Oklahoma candidate filing period having come and gone, current Labor Commissioner Leslie Osborne has filed a petition contesting her opponent's candidacy. Current Republican House Representative Sean Roberts filed to run against her with his name on the ballot as Sean the Patriot Roberts, something Osborne lists in the petition that should strike his candidacy completely. Attorney Ed Blau saying a provision of Oklahoma Administrative Code may prohibit that nickname. It's going to be really difficult for him to have the Patriots on the ballot. Osborne citing that provision where it says a quote, candidate who is generally known by or who does business using a nickname, birth name, or any name other than his or her legal name may choose to appear on the ballot by providing that name. This provision of the Administrative Code means that if somebody's name is Michael, but they go by Mike, Mike can be on the ballot or Jonathan and John. It does not allow for open season for whatever somebody wants to be called. Now people have run with nicknames before. You just can't use another person's name per state law. People like Virginia Blue Jeans Jenner in the past and Bulldog Ben Robinson who is running as an independent this election for U.S. Congress. It has to be challenged and sometimes if it's a, a race where the winner is, is going to be obvious, it, it may not be worth it. Osborne saying Roberts is not someone that is, quote, generally known by or who does business using that name. Claiming in the past seven elections he appeared on the ballot as just Kevin Sean Roberts or Sean Roberts. Roberts firing back on Facebook saying Osborne wants this because she knows she will lose the election and that voters are upset with, quote, her liberal ideology and poor management of the Oklahoma Department of Labor adding that he and his team will fight the petition. It's going to be very difficult for him to straight face. This is truly his nickname and that he needs to run under when he hasn't done it before. Now we reached out to Robert's office for comment but did not get a response. We also reached out to the state election board who told us it's inappropriate for Secretary Paul Zierix to comment being a non-voting officer who may deal with the hearing on the situation. That hearing is set for next Monday.